The New York Balance allows students to investigate equilibrium of forces and torque. It comes with an instruction guide with guided activities. It has a 50 and 100 gram mass, a support balance, a pivot point, two knife edge clamps, and a counterbalance. The pivot point is half cut out so you can see exactly the position of the clamp on the meter stick as well as the knife edge clamps that hold the masses. So you can clearly see the position of where the mass is on the meter stick. The biggest advantage over the New York balance over other traditional meter stick balances is the fact that you can have a counterweight on the back that allows you to overcome the initial mass of the meter stick. Here is a simple setup where I have one of the hangers five centimeters away from the fulcrum and the other one is ten centimeters away. Well this is naturally not going to balance out because the weight hangers have masses. So this counterbalance in the back allows you to bring the whole system in the balance. That way when the students are adding the masses, 100 grams and 50 grams, you can have them look at purely those masses themselves and not the weight of the meter stick or of the hangers themselves. After the students have verified the lever laws for this experiment, challenge them to use what they've learned to find the mass of an unknown object. In this case I'm just using some little uh, wooden wheels. You can use just about anything. But have them try to determine the mass of the unknown object using the formulas they just verified and then have them use a scale to see how close they came to the true mass of the object. The New York Balance is a fun, hands-on way for kids to learn about equilibrium of forces and torque. Also the lever law with force times distance equals force times distance. The counterbalance on the back makes this great for an introductory class because it eliminates all the mass of the system and the kids can only focus on the masses that they are hanging. If you want to make this a more advanced level lesson, something that's perfect for high school or college, just move this counterbalance in the back directly behind the pivot point and now the students are going to have something not in balance. So now they're going to have to take into account the mass of the hangers themselves, the mass of the meter stick, all these ancillary masses that before were previously ignored, but now make it a great experiment for upper level physics.